Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at creating a lo-fi textured pad sound. To do this, I'm going to be using one of Live 12's new synths, which is called Meld. To start off with, I've got it loaded in its initial setting, and I've already drawn in some chords, which you can see in this MIDI clip. Let's just play this. So it's sounding nothing special at the moment. So let's start creating an interesting sound. So first off, what I'm going to do is you can see I've got two oscillators down here, oscillator A and oscillator B, and you can process these completely independently from one another in Meld, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's just mute oscillator B for now and start working on oscillator A. You can see we've got basic shapes set as the default, which as you'd expect is your usual sine square wave. One of the great things about Meld is it's got a lot of interesting waveforms that you don't find on other synths. So I'm going to come into the drop down menu and we're going to go for swarm sine as our waveform. And you can see that under engines here, we've got two different macros which control the sound. So let's experiment with these. What I want to do is dial in some motion. So let's have a listen to this. So it adds a kind of nice chorusy effect. And let's try adding in some spacing too. So that's adding in a lot of notes above and below. And yeah, leaving it around there, I think that sounded quite good. One problem we've got now is we've got a little bit of clicking at the start of the sound. So if I come into A here, and this is the network of envelopes, LFOs, and the matrix, but yeah, what I want to do now is just take off some of that attack. So it sounds already a lot better with a bit of a softer attack. And yeah, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to modulate the filter cutoff to create a wobbling effect. To do this, I need to come into the matrix here. This is our modulation matrix. And what I want to do is click the filter, filter A, of course, still working with oscillator A. And you can see the filter frequency is now selected. And let's have LFO2 modulating this. All I do is click and turn the amount up here. So that sounds okay. The LFO speed is a little bit fast for my liking. So I'm just going to make some adjustments. Come back into LFOs here. And LFO2. I'm going to change that to 3 over 16. So that's sounding pretty good. I'm just going to refine this a little bit further by adjusting the filter cutoff. Okay, so with the cutoff around sort of four or five kilohertz and the amount around 30 or so, I think that's sounding pretty good. And yeah, like I say, with Meld, you can basically change oscillators A and B completely independently of one another. Okay, so I'm happy with how oscillator A is sounding, providing the tone and the body of the sound. And I'm going to use oscillator B now to provide some texture on top. So if I turn on B, and I'm going to turn off A for now. And one of the great things about Meld is we can really process each oscillator individually, which is really useful when trying to layer sounds like I'm doing here. And what I want to do here is I want to select one of the more unusual oscillators within Meld. So I'm going to come down here to the drop down menu and I'm going to select bubble. These kinds of things are all non pitched textured sounds. And you can see we've got a couple of different macros here for density and spread. And yeah, as you might guess by the name, this is basically just a bubbling sound effect. So I quite like the density and spread at those settings. So that was sounding quite good. And yeah, let's just shape the sound. I'm going to take off a fair amount of the attack. I want this sound to sort of slowly fade in as the longer chords are playing. So that's sounding good. And this sound needs a bit of filtering. It's a little bit muddy and rumbly in the low end. So if I come over to filter B here, we'll go for the high pass filter dial this down until we can hear it. Okay, that's sounding better. And yeah, just to add a little bit more interest, I'm going to add in some drive.
So I want to shape the drive a little bit and we'll do that using the modulation matrix for oscillator B here. If I click drive, filter macro two, and yeah, I'm just wanting to use the modulation envelope. So clicking and dragging, we'll add that in. And then I need to shape the envelope itself and I want a slow attack. So what I want is the sound to fade in and get slightly more distorted as it fades in. So that's sounding good. The drive is maybe a little bit heavy. Okay, so let's add oscillator A back in and listen to these together. So that's sounding pretty good. You'll notice that while I was listening, I just upped the volume of oscillator B a little bit. And yeah, let's finally thicken out the sound and get it sounding how we like. So let's add in some spread. You can see that adds some stereo width and creates a nice warbly effect. And let's stack and add some drive too. So that sounds nice. You can see as I added the overall global drive, I just dialed down the drive of the bubbling sound a bit and the volume there. And yeah, this is pretty close to how I want it. What I'm gonna do now is add in some reverb. And open up some plugins that I've got here. So I've got some delay, let's turn this on. All I've done here is got the dry wet to 100% and a slight delay between the left and the right. And this is gonna create some stereo width. Some chorus ensemble, again, just to add a little bit more movement. And lastly, some filtering. We're cutting off the low end and we're also cutting off a bit of high end here. Let's have a listen. And I've got some bass and some drums so we can listen to this in context. Okay, so that's how to create a textured lo-fi pad using Ableton Live 12's new synth meld. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out our courses at pointblankmusicschool.com and we'll see you next time.